A very good evening to you. And here's what we have today. A nice, simple repair. Um, <laughs> that's what I say you most of the time. But uh, in this case, um, this light was one of the ones originally on my bench. And um, it suffers from a couple of problems. The first one is the chip is down to its last one or two segments. Uh, and the other one is that the, the driver is incredibly noisy. And... Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's just really not not usable if I was going to be honest. Um, so what I want to do is uh, in this one, I think let's have a look at first of all the the chip, which will be the easy change, uh, and then we'll have a look at the driver and see whether there's anything there I can change. So that's off that's off and you can see where I've uh, literally just snipped the wires to to dismantle this driver um, let's take the reflective bit out a bit of tin foil like so and there we go so we have one driver which is a no-name sealed potted box your standard potted box so what we can do with that straight away um, is we can uh, take this off the LED mind you I didn't need to take it off the LED did I because uh, I was going to change the LED anyway. What I might do first, though, is I uh, might have a little bit of fun. Um, see if I can... I'm going to bring the power supply in. I'm going to drop the voltage down to about 9 volts. 8 and a bit volts. And let's see how many of these segments are actually working. Uh, not very many by the looks of it. In we go. Right, there's a negative. All right, let's bring it up from nine. No, it looks like the whole thing is totally deaded. So, yeah, um, that'd be a pretty good reason to change the the LED. So what I'm going to do first, let's unplug that, stick that over there for the moment, and uh, yeah, the, these are a, a simple change to be quite honest, they're nothing complicated, it's just a matter of uh, those three screws off with the gunk that can go into the the recycling that's what they call it anyway um, that's positive that's negative let's put that in the same way round uh, where's my heat sink gunk there plenty and let's just smush it in the back of these um, these castings are not actually smoothed down at all which is why the heat transfer is minimal to say the least you know, it, it could be so much better but um, yeah let's face it uh, when you're only paying sort of I think the cheapest I've seen these particular lights is uh, around about three pound each. So when you when you're paying three pound a light these days, you know you, you're not going to get much for your money. Let's face it. After all, you know three pound. Um, I think that would just about cover the cost of posting it from China. 
Let's just, there we go. And put the last remaining screw in. And just spread them out a bit more evenly. Put some, put some pressure on them all. Okay, and again to test, let's just make sure we're on low power. Yep, about seven volts on there at the moment. So let's just, uh, as you see, on seven volts, we are actually getting um, all nine segments lit. Now, if I bring it up a little bit more, um, you should be seeing some more of the segments lit uh, certainly from there if i turn down the light above the bench so that this camera above it can pick it up let's bring that up slowly okay that's at nine volts so any more than that without um, regulating the supply down is probably uh, a little bit too much but there we go so now we can see that the led needed changing and uh, that's what we've done. So let's take that down. Let's drop that off of there for a second. Let's make sure they don't touch because otherwise we will have a short circuit of some description and bring the bench, the overhead lights back up. Okay, right, so now we need another driver. Right, that's a quite a high driver, um, but it should do the job. Um, so this is AC, this one obviously. Uh, this is actually a 900 milliamp driver. So you, you're putting about 100 milliamps into each of the segments, which may or may not be too much. Um, We'll soon find out, eh? So let's just um, get past all the other junk on the bench. Uh, dab a bit of solder on there, and a bit of solder on there. Do the same for the uh, uh, and what's it say? LED minus is the white lead. And there's the plus. Right, all we need to do now is uh, get our AC test lead, which is this wonderful example of super thick mains cable. Um, that one's red yeah so you can tell how old it is because the colors in the in the wiring are red and black as opposed to uh, brown and blue so I'm just going to connect this up to the mains and assuming that I haven't made any major faux pas let me just put that one back in um, Let's plug this into the AC. Um, do I go safe and plug it into the transformer up here? Yeah, I suppose I could. Uh, if I can get it in the socket. Uh, let's try that socket up there. Yeah, that's better. Right, let's... Uh, there we go. And that that's it. So, yeah, if I block that out, as you see there... There we go. Now, obviously, there's no earth on this, and everything here is live, and we've got our full voltage on there. 
the LEDs are glowing nice and brightly. Job done. Quite a nice little fix. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you all again. Bye for now.